Hello friends, this video on water part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us look at the sources of water. From where exactly are we getting water? So where do we get water from? Now it could be the hand pumps, it could be the wells or the tube wells, it could also be the taps. So these are the places from where we get water in our homes. So, in our houses, we find water directly in the wash basin. So, you just open the tap and you get water. So, that seems to be very easy. But the question is, that water which comes out from the tap, that water comes through the pipelines from some other source of water. So, you have the water pipelines, right? So, from those pipelines, the water comes to your tap or the water comes to uh, maybe the hand pump. But the question is that water which is there inside the pipe, where is that water coming from? So that water might come from the water from some nearby water bodies, maybe a nearby pond or a nearby lake or a nearby river. So in, in fact in, the, in small villages and small towns, uh, water is directly fetched from the nearby pond or river. So the technology is not that advanced there, so you really do not have so much of water pipeline system there. So a lot of people, they carry buckets and they fetch water from the nearby pond or river. So that's how we get water. So basically from this we get to see that water comes to us from the water bodies, whether it is a pond, lake, river, sea, ocean, whatever. So from there only water comes and then it comes to us in many different forms. So when we talk about ocean, because ponds, ponds are like part of some streams or rivers and the rivers they combine together to form ocean. So basically ocean is the primary source. So it is a significant water supply because ocean is extremely huge. So it has a lot and lot of water within it. Now when you look at the entire earth, so if, if you look at the globe, so you can see the entire earth and this in this sphere you will see that most part of it is blue in color which just tells us that two thirds of the earth is covered with water. Yes, that sounds to be a big number but that's the truth. So two thirds. So if, if let's say if you have a slice of bread, if you divide it into three equal pieces, one, two, three. So out of these three parts, two parts of it is covered with water and only one part is covered with land. And the same calculation holds true for earth. And that is why you see you have more of the blue color because the blue color represents water and the green color represents land. So blue color represents land. And see there is so much of blue color. That's because two thirds of the earth is water and most of this water is present in the seas and oceans. Water comes from these oceans to various water bodies like rivers, lakes, ponds, etc. And then we get the water that we need from these smaller water bodies like rivers, lakes and ponds. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.